now we'll see some problem based on surface chemistry uh, what would be the total surface area of a cube of age length 1 cm and what would be the total surface area of the same material if it were subdivided into colloidal size cubes each having an age length of 10 to the power um, minus 7 cm so here two question one is cube and this cube has been divided into a smaller cube so we have to find the surface area and their volume so first we find surface area of cube so here is uh, volume is uh, length is 1 cm so we will get here 6 into 1 square this is nothing but the decimal centimeter square and same surface area of cube same so it is divided into uh, small size of cubes and each is having still by minus 7 cm so q surface area of q ok and edge length is as a length is 10 per minus 7 centimeter so this will be surface 6 into a square is the length this suppose a so this is 10 per minus 7 whole square and total will be 6 into 10 power minus 7 into 14 so this is a centimeter square now so volume of the is will be equal so volume of you can write here cube volume of cube of 1 centimeter will be equal to volume of q small q which is 10 power minus 7 7 centimeter and we are multiplied by n so this will be your 1 q and this will be your n into 10 to the power minus 7 minus 7 whole q so this implies that n equal to how much 10 to the power 21 now new total so new total surface area the new total surface area will be how much so this will be 10 power 21 whole cubes and previous uh, each uh, unit so each surface area of the cubes will be this was so we can actually put this value here 16 to 10 power minus 14 so answer will be this side total 6 into 10 power 7 so this is our total answers Calculate the surface area of a catalyst that adsorbs a 10 power 3 cubes of 10 power 3 cubes of nitrogen reduced to STP uh, per gram in order to form the monolayer. The effective surface area by nitrogen molecule on the surface is 1.62 10 power minus 15 centimeter square. So again, so for we have to find the first uh, how many number molecules are there. So number of nitrogen molecules it will be uh, totally given area this is the this is absorbing 10 power minus 10 power 3 centimeter square so 10 power 3 centimeter square and stp is there so total take here volume okay so volume by this volume and multiplied by avogadro number so multiply is 6.023 into 10 power 23 so if you multiply avogadro number so we will get the total number of molecules okay so volume of this in this so we here you will buy 2.69 into 10 power 22 so this this will you will get the total number of molecules as per the formula now total area covered by nitrogen will be how much so we have to take here this is the total number of molecules so number of molecules is 2.9 into 10 power 22 and multiplied by 1 by 62 into 10 power minus 15 so if area is given over here so area will be so the factory surface area will be this much so surface area of the catalyst means total area covered by nitrogen means total uh, area uh, covered by nitrogen molecules ok will be 4.35 into 10 power 5 on solving this much so answer will be 435 m square ok so this is the uh, area over the catalyst of the catalyst which is covered by nitrogen molecules so calculate the volume at 300 kelvin and one atmospheric pressure the amount adsorbed by oxygen per gram amount adsorbed by oxygen per gram 
by 2 grams solid surface solid surface 2 grams so if 4 gram of oxygen allowed to be adsorbed at 300 kelvin and 0.8 atmosphere so we have to find out the volume of oxygen adsorbed per gram so here mass of solid is given how much so here m is 2 gram and amount of amount of oxygen adsorbed will be 4 gram Okay, so we can write here x by m equal to 4 by 2. So this will be your 2 gram. Now, what how much volume of oxygen is there? So volume of oxygen will be you can use the ideal gas equation. So W by m into R into T. So m is here 4 gram is given. So 4 gram oxygen given and molecular mass we know that 32 and uh, R is 0 0.0. So it is Kelvin is given. So we can write here. So put atmospheric, uh, atmospheric pressure is here, it's a 0.0, yes, uh, this will be 8 to 1, divided by temperature is 300, so R into T, so we have T will be the inside, temperature and pressure is, uh, so pressure is given here, one atmospheric pressure, this is one, okay, and now, volume of oxygen adsorbed, volume of oxygen adsorbed per gram ok so per gram will be how much so per gram will be three point if you solve it here so this is nothing this will is it will come here volume of oxygen will come out three point zero seven eight liter ok so here per gram will be three point zero seven eight and divide by two because we have to find it two gram so two gram will be answer one point five three nine liter so this is our answer so for two gram volume oxygen energy will be this much So 1.3 liter nitrogen gas at 2 atmospheric pressure, 300 Kelvin is 1.3 liters. So it, this nitrogen volume nitrogen given at 300 Kelvin, container exposed to 4 gram sulfate. So on 4 gram sulfate, this much hydrogen is being to be absorbed. After complete adsorption, the pressure of nitrogen reduced by 30%. In 30% of nitrogen is adsorbed on the solid surface, 30% nitrogen. So we have to find the those uh, nitrogen molecule, 30 percent molecules, which is being adsorbed on the surface. So, calculate the x by m. So, x by m is the so how much number of molecules is adsorbed? Mass is given here. Okay, this we need to find out. So, here we said first we have number of molecules. So, uh, nitrogen is given here uh, two atmospheric pressure pressure. Okay, so how much nitrogen pressure left? So, we have to find here. So, pressure of nitrogen is two atmospheric pressure. And pressure of nitrogen, partial pressure of nitrogen left. That is, that is by 30 percent. So we can write here 2 into 70 by 100. So why 100? Because 30 percent absorbed air and so 70 percent left behind. Okay. So this is your 70 percent into left. Okay. So again, this is here. So two atmospheric pressure of 70 percent so this is the two and 70 percent is left so total pressure present in atmosphere is 1.4 atm okay so now what is the weight so weight of nitrogen adsorbed by solid so how much weight is absorbed so we can use the ideal gas equation that is pb by rt into molecular mass so p is given here pressure pressure initial pressure was Two, okay and uh, uh, left with gas is 4 1.4 this is the left we will subtract the initial amount of this one so we will get the that much uh, pressure of nitrogen was absorbed by the solid and volume is given here 1.3 already liter and uh, so R, R we know that it is 0 0.0821 and temperature is 300 Kelvin and multiplied by 28 is the molecular mass of nitrogen if we solve it we will get here 0 0.89 gram now x by m will be so x is the 
x is the weight of the nitrogen absorbed that is 0 0.89 so this is the gas absorbed on the uh, on the surface and uh, 4 is the total gram of the surface so this is the gas this is the gas absorbed and this is the weight of the gram so total will be your x by m will be 0 0.22 gram so this is our answer So, 1 gram of activated charcoal has a surface area of this much cubes given here. And if complete monolayer coverage is assumed, an effective surface area of ammonia molecule is this much, millimeter cube. So, how much ammonia in centimeter cube at STP could be absorbed on 25 gram of charcoal? How much it can be absorbed? So, we will find one by one. First is total surface area, effective surface area and number of molecules. And from numbers, we have to find the weight of the ammonia. So first you find total surface area for adsorption. So to find the total surface area of adsorption. So already it is given here. So it is one gram given here. So 25 gram of charcoal is given. So 25 gram. Okay, and it is given here. So multiply surface area this much and weight is this much. The total surface area will be surface area into weight so we can write here 20.23 so this will become here meter square okay. so 25 surfaces this is total surface area now next is effective surface area for one ammonia molecule so for one ammonia molecule will be how much it is given here 0 0.129 into 10 to the power so it is nanometer square so we can write here minus 9 whole square it is also given so number of molecules number of molecules of ammonia absorbed so what is number of molecules of ammonia absorbed so that will be how much so this is the total surface area 25 into 10 power 3 and this is the per molecule so this will give you total number of molecules minus 18 so if you solve it so we will get here 1.94 into 10 power 23 this is the total number of molecules absorbed in the 25 gram of charcoal so so we will get the number of molecules now moles of ammonia so moles of ammonia will be 1.94 multiplied by 10 power 23 and divided by Avogadro number so that is 6.023 into 10 power 23 so here we get number of moles that is 323 moles so now volume will be ammonia so volume at STP will be an RT by P so we know the N so N is nothing but the 0 6323 and R is 0.0821 and temperature is 273 Kelvin because STP they are asking STP and you divide it by 1 so pressure is 1 1 atmospheric pressure so this will give you total 7.2395 so liter or in terms of centimeter 7239.5 centimeter square so this is basically our answer now hydrogen gas was adsorbed on 1 gram powdered copper surface forming monolayer molecules on the adsorption total hydrogen collected uh, measure 1.36 cm square at STP assuming volume of one molecule is uh, this much volume again calculate the specific area of the copper powder so we have to find specific area means how much area is uh, was there for the copper to adsorb the hydrogen gas ok so here this is given and desorption means uh, so uh, uh, whatever the gas has been adsorbed, we are removing those gases. This gas has been removed from the surface area. That is nothing but the 1.67 centimeter square. 37 centimeter square. This is removal of the gas. So again, first you find number of molecules. So number of molecules of hydrogen in 1.36 centimeter square at STP. So it will be how much? So number of molecules means again Avogadro number multiplied by 22.400 and we have take 1.36 centimeters. So this will give you 3.6 into 10 power 19 total number of molecules. So again volume of one molecule will be how much? Very easy. 
volume of one uh, one hydrogen so this is given here 4.7 over 2 into 10 power minus 23 so what is the radius of that molecule so radius of molecule is the volume given so volume we can write in the terms of 4 by 3 pi r cube so from here if we solve it this is the volume of one molecule so here r will becomes out 2.246 into 10 to the power minus 8 minus 8 centimeters so this is the radius of the molecule now area of so area of cross section area of cross section of hydrogen molecule will be how much pi r square so writing area of square okay so this is pi r square and if you multiply this into so how much it will be here so pi we know that 3.14 multiplied by 2.246 into 10 power minus 8 okay whole square so here you will get here 1.583 into 10 power minus 15 centimeter square so they see nothing this is this they will give you area of adsorption of copper powder okay so again a specific area of adsorption of copper will be how much so this will be 3.66 into 10 power 19 and multiplied and multiplied by 1.583 and multiplied by 10 power minus 15 so here it will be 5.7 into 10 to the power 4 cent centimeter square so this is right here 5.79 into 10 power 4 centimeter square so this is the area of adjustment of copper